I say usually. <laughs> hi guys. All right, hi everyone. Welcome back. And I have with me fashionably Amy. Yes, I yeah. am in Seattle, Seattle, and she made a trip down uh, today. Actually, yeah, we've been. Uh, I guess your our videos will go up together, so we're yes. collaborating on both our channels. So make sure you subscribe to Fashionably Amy because we have already spent several hours <laughs> filming <laughs> and technically troubleshooting. Right, yeah, so oh we've gosh. got videos on her side, and we are gonna do a little kind of like quick little unboxing, and mm. we're gonna do a comparison between my Constance eighteen and this bag. This is. Fashionably <laughs> Amy's Amy's bag. This is the the butt bag of the butt bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is like sort of give you my initial impressions of mm -hmm. this bag because this is the one that I always talk about, which is the peach bag. I have been making fun of it, but Amy has one of it, so I'm gonna be fair and just guess I'll do a first impressions and mm. also talk about what can fit and compare it yes. to my Constance. And a little mod shot for this bag as well. But uh, we'll also do a little unboxing, like a yes, little sharing. So Amy got a little unboxing, a small unboxing. On my side, it was a large unboxing, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you make sure you go over. We did a couple of things on Amy's channel. Here you go. Thank I don't you. have any bags because I, I was like traveling with so many like gazillion bags and luggages already. Two things. Uh, I think I'll open this one first because this is very Canadian. <laughs> it's very Canadian. Because <laughs> uh, you asked me, right, what to yes. bring for me. So I was like, okay. I was like, is there anything from Canada that you want? Mm. And, and okay. she was like, mm, I don't know. I what's don't what's know. Canadian? What's Canadian? I said maple syrup. <laughs> no, did you, did you say that? No, you said like cows. Did you say cows? That's how did we got No, 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 no. <laughs> no not cows. <laughs> Said cheese. Oh, cheese. cheese! Yeah. Actually, I didn't say cheese. We were looking up. I was looking up what I can bring. Right. And then one of the things was cheese. <laughs> and I said, Oh, because there's a lot of cows <laughs> in Canada. <laughs> okay, but we ended up with this. Oh, so mm. this is maple syrup. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Did you have maple syrup before? Never ever. Uh, I've had maple syrup. Is it like real maple syrup? Though? That's the thing I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't know. I guess. So <laughs> How much more Canadian can this be? It's even in the bottle in the leaf. It's the in the Canadian maple leaf. <laughs> so apparently, so I don't know if this is like the best maple syrup. Probably not. But I like the bottle, and it's also from Quebec. So uh, it's oh. from where I'm from. And yeah, even like when I was in uh, uh, elementary school, we used to have field trips every year, and we go to a maple farm. And we would uh, spend the whole day there, and we would have like toffee and all kinds of things around maple syrup, like a meal around maple syrup. So, so maple syrup is like from the tree. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's from the maple tree. <laughs> Insert some photos during the the field trips. You can see the maple sap from the, the tree. The, yeah, from the tree. It and it comes out. They puncture a hole, and it's kind of like a straw thing. Uh, and then the the sap will come out, and they have a. Like a little bucket. Oh, it it's like out. Malaysia rubber tapping. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> in Malaysia, when you in rubber trees, mm. they actually like. Uh, oh, they scrape so it. They scrape the side of the tree, uh. and then the latex comes out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So maple it's not like that. <laughs> okay. Apparently, I was looking up maple syrup. Also, is like antioxidant, and it's kind of like honey. It has a lot of good properties because it's completely natural, right? Yay! So I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Can you. put it in your pancakes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Your coffee. Next is looks similar, right? Yeah. So if <laughs> you go to <laughs> Amy's channel, see something very similar like this. So this is a Starbucks mug. Actually, the wording is slightly different. I know. I just. I it's, guess because it has French on it. Yeah, but here it's called the Bin Dare series. I think the oh, other one is... Uh, the other one is the You Are Here series. You Are series. Here series. Slightly different. Oh. Okay, so this says Bin Dare series across the globe. Okay, let's take a look. Ah. So since we're in... Then you can open it like... Oh, look at that! Oh, this is the Canada mug. Yeah. It has all the Canadian colors in it. Red. Red, <laughs> white, and red. Okay, let's see. Maple syrup. So this is what Canada is famous for. Yeah. Maple syrup. <laughs> this is the. It's not a this, yak. Uh, this is no. <laughs> it's not a what yak. Is, what is that? A deer? Moose? A moose? Oh, okay, a, a but moose. But this is a deer. That one is a moose. This is maple syrup, and this is a. Is that a beaver? That's a beaver. That's a beaver. Snow, and then you have pine trees. Spaghetti? Is that spaghetti? No, that's not spaghetti! <laughs> What's that? 
that? That's poutine. Oh. Do you know what poutine is? No. Oh, it's a Quebec thing. So it's French fries with gravy and um, what's, what's the cheese <laughs> it's called? It's like spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> Cur- curd cheese. Curd cheese. It's very Quebecois. So it's Canadian. It's Canadian, right? It's from Quebec. And I grew up eating that. That's why it even has a Quebec flag. Fleur de lis. Oh, okay. Quebec. Oh, this is like scouts. <laughs> so our uh, the Quebec flag has the fleur de lis, so that's why it has the fleur de lis beside it. Okay. And uh, this is Lake Louise, which is in Alberta. It's like a really prominent attraction. It's very beautiful there. Okay. It's very serene. Hockey. Yes. Skis. Polar bear. Yes. What is, what is, is that? that? A- <laughs> true okay. North. Oh, True North, strong and free. So it's part of our. Um, Ikra is what? Uh? <laughs> what Ikra is in Malaysia. Uh, huh? Like, do you. <laughs> Like your swear, your swear. Canadian anthem, right? It's part of the Canadian anthem, like the song, the Canadian anthem. <laughs> <laughs> and also even eh, eh, eh is like something that Canadians say. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like eh. Like, yeah. Eh. Yeah. Oh, actually in the other mug, they don't have any of these words, which I, oh. it's such a wasted opportunity. They should have put, they should. Yeah. yeah. We should give a update to <laughs> Starbucks and tell them that this is a missed opportunity because yeah. in, there's so in, much detail on this. Sing- mug, yeah, yeah, Singapore, they have, they have similar, like, you know, you got to go to Amy's channel to see what they mm-hmm. have, but it's definitely not as much as this. This is mm-hmm. yeah, well they, thought out. They packed a lot on this. Yeah. Mug. Pancakes and <laughs> yeah. everything. Like, look at that. There are pancakes here. <laughs> Wow, thank you. And this you. is the Parliament Hill, which is our uh, capital building. Duck or geese? I don't know. One of those. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Oh, no. Thank you. We got a mug. <laughs> nice. A Canadian mug. Actually, this is a good mug. That That's funny. I thought it was <laughs> spaghetti. And now I'm curious what the mug in Malaysia would look oh. like. Because Malaysia has so many of these like mm. things, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But that is, yeah, that's well thought out. They're like, come on, let's put everything. <laughs> everything that <laughs> Canada everything. is famous on a mug. <laughs> yeah. Second part Ooh. of the video is this. So it's a comparison yeah. of the Della Cavalleria mm-hmm. bag mm-hmm. and my Constance. So I'm just yes. going to take my Constance. Here you go. I'll put some pictures. I took some pictures of yeah. the bags and you can see they're kind of similar. Really, really similar in size, right? And I think this... This one is still taller. I feel like it's a taller. A little bit taller. Yeah, a little bit taller. But no, you see how like this one ends here. Oh, that's so, like, true. So like the things that you put in here, it ends here, right? That's true. So this one has more height. My sanitizer, which is really tall, it can stand up in my bag. Okay, so just first impressions, just holding this bag. I have seen it in um, the store, but I didn't really play around with mm. the one in the store as much because that was just like in store because yes. they made me wear gloves and everything oh. like really just literally don't touch the bag you can play with it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean just comparing it because it's also Epsom mm-hmm. and this is also Epsom it's a little heavier it, it feels yeah. heavier yeah a little bit more weight to it mm-hmm. and it's I think it's the hardware mm-hmm. and maybe it's because the yeah. leather is thicker like the base is very stiff, Substantial right? Substantial like here. I don't think you can, unless you that like really... The curves yeah. are more substantial <laughs> on this bag. Yeah. <laughs> Have you changed your mind about it? No. Okay. <laughs> she, won't, she won't get one. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting one. It's, But it's definitely more... Yeah, it's a nice looking bag. Hmm. As an in person, as compared to what I saw on Instagram, on the advertisements of this bag, it looks better in real life. That's mm. for sure. And the hardware is very substantial. Mm-hmm. This lock. What is this lock? It's actually inspired from the horse. The horse bit, yeah. Mm. It's really, really substantial. It's like a, <laughs> a really chunky piece of it metal. It is, yes. And I like the back pocket. I mean, this yes. is definitely a plus. Have you ever put anything inside? Yeah. What's your largest thing? Your phone? Oh, no. I I put like a, like a you know, whenever I go to a parking lot and they give me a ticket, just put it in there so that mm. I know where to find it. I know you like the thinner strap yeah, on this, but I actually I prefer the thicker strap. Oh, yeah, okay. it's it just feels sturdy. Right. And I think it's I think it'll feel more comfortable. It on actually the is very comfortable. Yeah. yeah. And you have one, two, three, three settings. Yeah. Three settings. So if you are a taller person, this will fit you. Oh, yeah. Whereas for this, for a taller person, you could just maybe shoulder bag. Right. Yeah. It's. I agree. Set. I really like the option of having 
you know, additional settings so they can lengthen it, you can shorten mm-hmm. it. This one feels more substantial. Mm, it feels more substantial. The base and like the um this like part. the mold, right? The the mold of the whole bag is so stiff. You can't really That's true. push it in That's whereas true. this one you can. Yeah, so here it's really soft. Mm-hmm. Whereas for this, it's it's really yeah. like hard. Like I almost feel like they had to like heat treat it or something because how do they otherwise make it so firm? <laughs> the curves are firm. <laughs> yeah, everything, yeah, the curves are really firm. It's also swift leather on the inside yeah. as of the Constance. For the Kelly, Kelly it's yeah. not swift on the inside. That is Chev. And I wonder if it's because those are quarter bags and these are not. Therefore, I mean, arguably the Constance is still a quarter bag in certain store like mine. But mm. I think it's easier to obtain than those two bags, mm-hmm. than the Birkins and the Kellys. Let's see the space, yeah? Yeah, you can put your things okay. in it. Okay, so I have a picture of what I can put inside here already. So I'm just gonna put inside yes. this and see. Yeah. Definitely much more capacity. So, okay, let's take a look. There is Amy's Sunny's. Mm-hmm. There is a hand sanitizer. That's, and it's And it's actually upright. upright. Yeah. And Amy's card holder is upright so that's mm-hmm. one two that's yours and then i've got a packet of tissue two lipsticks the a little compact all right and my phone wow it fits a lot yeah and you have a larger size phone mm-hmm. too, right mine is an iphone because yeah. now 13 I, Pro. I carry the mini so that's this fits in everything with the case yeah and that fits yeah definitely a pro it can fit a lot of things actually inside. My, my phone fits upright as well Oh. This is the iPhone mini and it fits upright. I can't see but see? It fits upright and you can close it. Mm. Okay. Capacity <laughs> compared to the Constance. Even though this Constance I did say you could fill fill it like a sausage. <laughs> but the height wise, this definitely wins. Yeah. So definitely plus. So if you want to find a bigger bag and the Constance is great, but something that you gotta fit, you know, um kind of like s- expand it otherwise yeah. it won't fit a lot you have to sort of be okay with stretching it out and then you can put more like bigger things but if you need taller things like your um, hand sanitizer or your larger wallet or taller wallet you can put everything you can see it and you know this back pocket i usually i put my mask there oh there's another secret compartment yeah. so there's one more here that you can slip you put your mask. Yeah, I put my mask there because it's convenient. Like every time I need to put it back on, when I go inside the store, then I put it on myself. Whenever I'm out and in my own car, then I can just slip it back in. But at least it doesn't get contaminated with everything else. And it's like one dedicated slot. And of course you can put other things. So the closing, it's mm. actually not like right. when you open it, you see that slot. Yep. So it has to just slot in there and then you close. Right, yeah. okay. Oh, that's sort of like a little, there's a little metal piece that comes out that will hook into this kind of like circle. You go in and up and then it locks. Yes. It's actually really secure as well. Yeah. I was trying your bag in my video, you guys can go watch it. But I was like, she's struggling how do, how to open? open it. Yeah, so this, if you don't like the Constance lock, because it's actually it's a little tricky when you first start to use yeah, it. Yeah, when you're not used you're to it. You're not used to it, and maybe it's like, you know, it's not holding back. She's like, oh, I gotta be careful. <laughs> you gotta kind of feel it and then push it up and over. Whereas mm-hmm. this, you, it's really easy. Yeah, yeah, it's really easy. You just push it down. Yeah, yeah. and it goes in already. Okay, <laughs> I won't get it still, but <laughs> overall, I can see why. Amy really likes this bag. Yeah, it's very functional. It fits a lot. Yeah, it I, it really did. And obviously, I like her bag a lot too, and I would get it as well. Um, you know, for me, it's it's not because I like this bag more. Therefore, I got this one. It's just that I I I can't wait for a constant <laughs> that fast. So this bag will do for now. But on not only that, it actually is very functional. Yeah, and because yeah. it's only one compartment compared to the Constance, because the Constance has a divider there, the divider does take up a bit of space, right? Mm-hmm. It, if you have like a larger thing, you gotta work around it. Like you gotta expand the bag or not use it as at all. So having no divider, that's kind of, this is my preference, no divider. Mm. But unfortunately, the Constance does have it, so. Good bag. 
So you really wouldn't change your mind at all? Yeah, just don't know. I mean, visually, uh -huh. even though now I see it, it's not so... Mm, it doesn't look like what I see on pictures, but still, <laughs> <laughs> it would not be my priority pick. But it really is because of the appearance that, it, that is the only reason that you, you wouldn't buy it? Like, is that really oh. the only reason? <laughs> It's definitely up there okay. in the spin. <laughs> I will say it's not as feminine, which is yeah. something that I really enjoy about your Constance is that this one is so casual. Like it's not a bag that I would wear to Yeah, you definitely need to try it out. Um it's not a bag that I would wear everywhere because it's so it's almost um, bulky. I guess so. It is yeah. a little bulky, which is okay for my style, but I, I think Very, more masculine looking yeah. bag. Which actually, that's why it looks good on guys too. Yeah. yeah. So, it would not be a top priority purchase. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're looking for, say, something very different, not as iconic and maybe doesn't shout H there, you want something more uh, understated but still very functional, fits more than the Constance, not as fiddly as the Constance, actually you can consider this. Plus it has that feature that the Constance doesn't have, which the new Constance, new 24 edition, mm. has the back pocket. So that's also a possible pick. I feel like that is sort of maybe taking notes from this bag, mm, but making okay. it Constance. Because this is similar to the Constance 24, the new edition. Single gusset and with a back pocket and also a thicker strap. Is that one a thicker strap? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. how much thicker than this? Maybe double? thicker. No, 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 not double, but definitely thicker. A bit thicker. thicker. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> <You're welcome>. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah. we'll see. Let me go through the whole like uh, BKC BKC. <laughs> yeah, I think you, I think this is maybe a bag that um, you know if it's not a priority. Just get all the ones that really are on your wish list first, and then if this gets offered to you at any point in time and you're ready at that time, mm -hmm. then get it. Just getting like a collection yeah. of things because I do see this would be very handy when you're yeah. traveling, when you're just running errands, or even for a whole day because it fits much more. That is exactly what this bag is about. I, I like this bag a lot. I wouldn't say that I love it as much as like the Birkin and the Kelly. Those are timeless. This one... It's a workhorse bag. It's a workhorse, but you know, if you ask me, oh, is this going to be in your forever 10 mm. bags that you see yourself still having in 10 more years? Maybe not, but like I, I probably would still have it. But I'm just saying like if, if I had to be really critical and just downsize to a minimal collection, then maybe it wouldn't be part of it. Mm. Um, but as a traveling bag, like you said earlier, as a travel bag, as an everyday bag, if you want like uh, something that's robust and that still fits a lot. It's still a small bag actually, but it still fits a lot for its size, then it's it's really good. It's way more um, uh, underrated than most people think. Yeah, yeah, true. All right, so thank you. <laughs> so that's my first impressions and yeah. sort of like a quick comparison with yeah. the Constance. Yeah. I do plan to do a Constance review soon, so Look out for that. I do have some, you know, pros and cons of this bag, but yeah, I'll let you know in that other video. All right, guys, thank you. Don't forget to go over to Amy's channel and subscribe as well, and then check out our other videos. See you there. Bye. Bye.